Bad Carl, Bad Carl, Bad Breath Carl. Every morning on the job you could see him arrive. He stood five foot two, he weighed 125. Little tiny shoulders, didn't have any hips, and everybody wanted to give a fat lift to Bad Carl. Bad Carl, Bad Carl, Bad Breath Carl. Nobody knew where Carl called home. He smelled so bad he had to live all alone. Didn't talk much, sort of bashful and shy. When he opened his mouth, man, you thought that you'd die, bad Carl. Some folks said he come from New Orleans, where he had a legal battle with Listerine. They said he'd clear his breath if he drank enough, but all he did was get drunk of the stuff, bad Carl. Bad Carl, bad Carl, bad breath Carl. Then came that day when they were out on the job, when a miner gave out with a gasp and a sob. With his hand in his throat, he gave a terrible sign, and everybody knew that Carl was in the mine. Bad Carl. Through the shaft of the mine with a terrible smell walked a little bitty man that the miners knew well. Everybody knew if they stood there and waited, they'd probably all be asphyxiated by Bad Carl. Bad Carl. Bad Carl. Bad breath Carl. cried out, this is more than I can bear, and 20 men scrambled to get fresh air, and as they rushed and they shoved up that slippery shaft, bad breath Carl just stood there and laughed, bad Carl. At the top of the mine, they turned right around to see old bad Carl weighed down in the ground, and with rocks and stones, they filled up the mine, and everybody knew it was the end of the line for bad Carl. Bad Carl, bad Carl, bad breath Carl. Well, they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a great big sign in front of it. And these two words are written on that stand. Carl's Bad Caverns.